This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at particles, replicators, and parameter behaviors in Apple Motion 5.3. Hi, this is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll give you an introduction to replicators to create interesting patterns. Let's go to the shapes category and let's pick a five sided star. And let's make it just a little bit smaller. I'm holding the Shift and the Option keys down. And we'll drag this near the center. It doesn't have to be perfectly in the center. Space bar to play. I'll drag the play range so it takes a little less than 10 seconds to play out. Again, there's no animation yet with the star. Replicate. By default, with the replicator selected, it always is a rectangle, and it always fills the entire rectangle. I want to just do the outline. And now I have stars around an outline. See, there's my rectangle, and there's my stars. It says, how many points do I want? Five, or two, or one, or whatever. Well, I don't want a rectangle of stars. I want a circle of stars. And I don't want seven of them. I want 13. And I want to have it be bigger. Now again, let's notice the stars dimmed out. If you have the wrong size, select that dimmed section. It's not checked. Hold Shift and Option. That allows you to drag from the center and change your size. Now again, a replicator by default is not moving. But if I stop my playback and put my playhead at the very beginning and go back and select the replicator because you've got to select what you want to work with, see this offset thing. Offset allows me to change the position of my, of my object. So I'm going to set a very first keyframe, set it to zero, and click this button. When this keyframe button is gray, there's no keyframe. When it's solid, there is. The number that's red indicates it's being controlled by a keyframe. And at the end, I want to have it go about that far. So now when I play it, my stars are rotating, except they're white. So now we know how to change that. We go down to original. We're going to pick from a color pattern. And we'll go to here and we'll say rainbow. And now I've got stars that are different colors rotating around a central. I took a single shape. I applied a replicator to it. I then changed the shape and tweaked the top half until it got the look that I want. Now I can still move this. I can say put my stars over here. They don't have to be in the center. I can grab this box here and make it a little bit smaller. Put text inside it. This just becomes an element. It's a piece of animation that I've created, but I can treat it like any other clip that we've already learned how to do. Inside motion, I can select the replicator, go to behavior, motion, motion path, make it smaller. And say, I want to have my stars mosey on down over to here. I have moseying stars. I don't even want to think of what the programming is to make that happen, but cool. All right, now, I think that is the most incredible replicator I've ever seen in my life. I want to save it again. So let's go to the library, go to replicators with replicators selected, click the folder. There's the folder. Larry's replicators. Grab the replicator itself, drag it into the folder, and there it is. Just to prove the point, delete it, spacebar to play, grab it, drag it out, and there it is with its animation, with its color, with its rotation, with the stars, and I only had to create it one time. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at particles, replicators, and parameter behaviors Inside Motion 5.3. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at LarryJordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 218. By the way, if you need to stretch your training dollars, a subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. You can access all our videos for one low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,600 movies, hundreds of hours, all in-depth and all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com membership. And thanks.